can I help you? Right now, I am getting Willa ready for her first day of school tomorrow. So we enrolled Willa in preschool. So we are going to um, enroll her and we did. And yeah, she starts tomorrow. Right now I'm sort of just going through all of our stuff and sort of getting everything situated. So I'm just grabbing her little lunch. <laughs> Sawyer. I'm just grabbing her little lunch box right now. I need to find her drink holder. They also said that they needed two change of clothes in two different bags. So I have this bag right here and then I have the other one drying right now because I cleaned it out. Um, I think we were using it to have like creams or medicine in it and it had a little stickiness to it. So I'm just going through that. But I'm really excited because she's getting to use her backpack that she got. Um, this was like the whole point of this is that she'd be able to go to school one day and she would have all of her patches and stuff like that on her backpack and look at that. So she, this is her backpack. We couldn't find her lunchbox anywhere so we ended up uh, letting her choose one and obviously she chose this one. And um, so we still have her lunchbox thing and I have to also see if I can find where I put all of her Mabel's labels. So that's tricky too because I don't know where those are. Like I, I actually have no idea where I put those. So I might need to order new ones. I would prefer not to if I don't have to, obviously. But I don't see them. Yeah, I see some of Cooper's tags, but I don't see. Anyway, I'll try to figure that out. Um, yeah, I don't see them. Oh, hi, babe. Perfect, so Dan actually had seen them and, and so now we have them. So as you can see here, these are Mabel's labels and you kind of just like stick them onto the tags that are waterproof and they stay on. So I have those done and then I also did um, Willa Fitzgerald here. Well, if it's Gerald here, and I put one on this side of the handle as well. So this will go into there, and then I will do the same thing on this side. I will put some stickers here. Are you excited, Will? Yeah. Where are you going? To school. To school for the first time. You're gonna meet your teacher? Yeah. And all your new friends? Yeah. So exciting. Okay, we gotta get ready to go in the car. Come on. Willa, how are you feeling? Why? Dad, do you go to school? What's wrong, baby? Because one, I'm in the cold one, and I might go wrong. Well, I think you might have butterflies, baby. Do you feel like you're gonna go blah? Yeah. Do you, Do you feel nervous? Yeah. yeah. Why do you feel no, nervous? Cooper, we love you, okay? You happen to be in the way, way back <laughs> yeah. Cooper, Will is having a special moment. I understand that it feels like it might not be a special moment for you, but when Willa goes to school, Mommy gets to hang out. Mommy and Daddy get to hang out with Cooper. Willa, what, what makes you feel nervous? Are you nervous to be without mommy and daddy? Yeah. That's okay. We're gonna be right there ready to pick you up. Okay? Uh, but it's kind of like when you used to go to your other preschool. Remember? And mommy and daddy would be there when you were ready to leave. Okay? <laughs> okay. We're gonna go in. Are you excited? So it's still awake. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I just put him down to sleep. These are Cooper and I's favorite things to do, right? They're called fuse beads. We just got a new kit. And you get a bunch of different colors and then you iron them and they all get ironed together. And they're so much fun. So I'm about to sit. Sawyer is down for his nap just now. Dan's picking up Willa from school, and we're gonna hang out, right? And we're gonna make them together? Yeah. Cool. Mom's gotta figure out which one she's gonna do. Maybe you could do the snowflake. I wanted to do something that had lots of color. Which one? 
Should I do this. a rainbow? This one has lots of colors. Look at the sun. Yeah. Should I do the sun? Yeah. Like this colored sun or should I do the rainbow sun? The white, the one is supposed to be the white cobble. Oh yeah? Now I'm gonna do the red. Just this kind. Uh -oh. Mom, if we do another one, like the one right next to it. Yeah. I, I picked it up, I picked it up with my hand. Okay. Um, I think mommy's gonna do the butterfly. Cause she really likes butterflies. There was no butterfly. There is, this one's a butterfly. Oh, I was thinking about a song with a butterfly. Oh, oh. I was thinking of a butterfly. Oh. Okay. Mom, I'm doing a great job. You're doing such a great job, Poop. I'm so proud of you. in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together ooh. One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away So I think school went really well for Willa. She came home and Dan was holding her. She was already asleep in the car. I just spoke to her teacher. Teacher said that she had a blast. Like she had the most amazing time. She said that she was on like this little bicycle for like a good 30 minutes, like outside, just like enjoying it. Um, that she got along with all of the girls really well and like made a bunch of friends. So I think she had a blast. That makes my mom heart so happy. She has been saying how she wanted to go to school and like I am not going to stop her from something like that, you know? Um, initially our plan was to travel for the year, so we were planning on not having them enrolled in school. For Cooper, his personality is just slightly different in the fact that I don't, my mom got is telling me he wouldn't really do well being like shoved into a middle of a class, a class that's already been established for six months and have known each other it, and learning new rules on top of that. I just don't want his beginning introduction to school to be so stressful for him. And so we kind of went into it like it's not fair to hold Willa back from doing something just because we're not going to have Cooper doing it as well. And she just was very adamant about how she wanted to go to school. And so we looked into preschools um, for her. We found one that was absolutely perfect. They do have a class for Cooper, but it's booked. It's completely full. So even if we wanted to, we would have to send him to a different school. And I just feel like it's meant to be. Like right now, Cooper is being so nurtured at home and now he gets extra time with just dan and i and so that is sort of like our thought process behind it um i'm trying not to always bundle them together they're not a package cooper and willa like just because they're really close in age they're allowed to do things differently willa's in ballet cooper's gonna be in baseball we also have cooper in barefoot university and that meets on tuesdays so like we have them doing different things i want them to know that they are valued independently as well as siblings, so. Guys, we had such a fun package arrive earlier. So we've spoken about these before. We love these as snacks. So they're called carnivore crisps and there's all different types. Like there are so many different types. These are my favorite, the uh, free range chicken breast. So basically it's just chicken breast with Redmond real salt. Um, and so if you are eating like a ketogenic diet or a carnivore diet, or um, you're just trying to like sort of watch your carb intake, these are really amazing alternatives to chips. So um, I know that one of the best recipes to make with these, especially the chicken ones, is you kind of like break them up into smaller pieces, you lay them out on a plate, and then you make nachos with them. So you can do meat, you can do cheese, salsa, guacamole, sour cream, and they taste so good with all of like the nacho fixins. Um, but there's not, it's not just chicken. So there's chicken breast, 
there's a bunch here um grass-fed beef heart now i'm sure some of you this is like not your cup of tea and that's totally okay but you can get really incredible nutrients from things like this and instead of like cooking beef heart and kind of incorporating it into your um, cooking you also have the option of consuming beef hearts like this as well but yeah there's just like a bunch of different types i'll go through all of them there's free range leg of lamb there is eye of round so it's just showing you the different cuts that it has chicken skin um grass-fed beef top sirloin these are my second favorite definitely there's elk as well those are new we haven't tried those yet beef liver once again um, a lot of nutrients in there pork loin the beef brisket oh so good delicious beef brisket yay we got two bags of those those are my favorite too this is like kind of what the consistency looks like so it's not really like jerky it's more of like an actual chip i will definitely link the carnivore Chris in the description box below if you want to go and check them out also if we have a coupon code i'll put it here on the screen or i'll put it in the description box below and then you can get a discount but yeah it's definitely something that we like to have in our house because we definitely use it for a bunch of different things and we do believe that like getting um organ meat into our diets is like really beneficial for us so yep dare i say it out loud i would really love to get our kitchen cleaned before sawyer or willa wake up that's not going to happen now because i said that and we're going to hear one of them start fussing but i'm going to do my best We've been out all day pretty much, and so our home kind of looks a little messy right now. I mean, not the rest of the house, but just our kitchen pretty much. So I'm just gonna try to set this, like reset it. something cliche like Baby, I only want you. It's true, and then he said, I wrote you a love song Told you. And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you